are we doing today? First, we were telling we have a problem. You know, guys. Um, like everyone in this world, in this world, has some kind of like lots of like chunks of CDs, like just random CDs which are of no use, and they just like scattered everywhere, like you know, shelf or somewhere. So I thought an idea that uh, let's just paint upon them only on useless CDs, not on useful CDs. Let's just paint upon CDs. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna be painting upon CDs. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So without without any further ado, let's just let's just get into it. Okay. So getting in with the first CD. Yeah, hey. I don't know what I was trying to do that time, but you know, we are gonna be working with only one CD at a time. The second CD gets moved away, and yeah, we're gonna be working with only one CD for now. Okay, starting with the CD, before I start to paint over the CD, I want to make the CD rough, like the texture of the CD should be rough, uh, so that the paint should adhere nicely to the surface of the CD. Now, I'm going to be starting to sand off this. Um, I've sanded things many times, but many times, but this this CD, like, uh, like, like, Got me in like a lot of dust, like silver, silver stuff, stuff everywhere. I even have to had to like clean it afterwards. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be do uh, starting to sketch what we wanted to. First, I was wanted to do a donut, but I thought, okay, let's just do something different. So I thought that okay, let's just do a lemon. Like, like guys, like let me explain. When you cut open a lemon, when you like cut open a lemon, it looks something like this. So this is what a cut open lemon looks like when mm, so i wanted to replicate the same thing and yep we're gonna be doing it now so i just gonna be painting the base coat as yellow lots of yellow okay let's just move away from that now i'm gonna be painting it base a base coat over it uh, honestly guys this paint was really transparent i had to like do five coats of this paint in order to get in order to build up the color so three two one and go here we oh we okay so here we are guys five coats of paint later now time to sketch the inside structure of the of the lemon um this was the fun part and these structures came out really nice i like it starting with this now we have to pick some color for the inside part of our structures whatever that is in the sea okay whatever um i'm gonna be taking you yep you're coming with me there okay so close that up and here we are to our working station and now dip that take that paint and dip dip and paint the inside structure of the lemon now i have painted the inside structure of the lemon structure of the lemon and now time to uh, do the finishing touch-ups for the outside part you know guys like this was like looking really like dead um that is why i did the vice versa and now it did look good guys now it was looking still really dead that is why i thought of getting some dark yellow border over it i can even i could even used paint marker over it but you know guys paint markers do not work on textured surfaces like they do not work and even the nib of your paint marker get, may get like like I don't know what is it, but the your paint marker can even not work after after you um, try to work it like after you use it on a textured surface, your nib does not work anymore on another surface. So that's a problem. So that is why I just use a drawing tool, and even it looks three D. Okay, guys, nice and three D. I like it. So now, time for. Okay, we're gonna be doing that, that all time and let that dry. 
Okay, and now I'm going to be putting a bit, like a coat of Mod Podge over it in order to seal over the paint because the, um, if you just scratch it with the nail, if you're, with the nails, um, it, the paint may chip off. Also, if anyone touches it, the finger, because of the fingers, the paint may chip off. So, you also always should apply protection. And here we are, guys, five coats of Mod Podge later. I just love how this turned out. I even like painted the back of the back of the lemon yellow with the same color as if it's a lemon but in a flat form i just love this um cd so far this is, this is my favorite one so far let's get into the next cd okay starting with this next cd i'm gonna be using my favorite colors in the cd i'm gonna be using turquoise in the cd and like i'm just gonna color half of the cd with the turquoise i'm gonna just like do a gradient effect of my two favorite colors in it and yes i'm just gonna be like guys like building up all the colors Okay, um, we're gonna be um, just, you know guys, this paint took me only two coats of uh, paint because I was using a different brand of color paint now. Now is the time to apply my second favorite color, which is lime. And I'm just gonna be doing a gradient effect for it. I did not blend these two now because, um, first of all, I should like build up the color so that I can just blend it easily afterwards. And three, two, one, go. Here we are after blending and building up the color. I did not show it to you guys because that was kind of boring, so we'll we'll cut that part. And this uh this blending came out pretty nice. So after the after we have done with the blending, I want to not do anything heavy over this because um uh, because there's a lot of blending and all stuff. So I just added small small of a small small initials of my name, and I even added small small T's uh, like cutting like half tees as if they are as if it's just like a whole sticker which is like surrounding the whole series that is nice and um, on on the behind side i did bigger tees and on the other side i did smaller tees yeah so i like this thing and i'm gonna be just doing a little bit of more finishing touch-ups um and here we are guys after apply, applying mod podge and doing finishing touches over the sea i just i just like this result this thing turned out pretty cool and here is the front part as i told you and here is the back the back part has more seeds or more bigger teeth and the mm, behind part has smaller teeth into it which i like let's get into the next scene so for the next CD, um, I I just did the whole sanding process, but I just thought that okay, we'll just sand it just to get the rough track texture on into uh, sand it entirely transparent because that was really like a lot of mess. I thought that okay, I did not paint the classic donut because that's the most roundest thing. Like, uh, but you know, guys, I did not want to go like classic. I wanted to go like extra. So I just build up the color and i i just changed my mind to red i thought that let's just make a youtube play button um i was not sure like if this would work this was just a testing and um yeah now it's you know guys i just yell at this process because you know i just don't like this uh like this cd because i just changed it changed the color so many times for this one and yes uh i just i started to add the play button on to it but that was kind of looking odd because of the circle which is between uh i thought okay we'll give it a border to it like to hide um my mistakes but that even did not work i thought that okay we have a chance we have a chance we can do some finishing touch-ups to it and it can work but you know guys no guys it did not work and that is why i just ended up just like like wiping everything up uh, and i thought okay that much of paint would go waste so i thought let's just mix the paint uh, on the cd while it is dry uh, wet and we're gonna be making a pink color out of it so now i just like i just took a fat like a bigger brush and i just wiped everything up now 
uh, I thought okay we'll do a gradient behind then at least it will look good uh, it would it could have like it too it may have looked good but I was like oh, it's not looking good it's not looking good that's why I even wiped off the play but so we have no choice now we can, we are not gonna be applying more paint over it as we have applied a lot of paint so I thought that okay we'll do like a watermelon effect that was nice I just uh, painted the border of the CD with the green as a watermelon and now we're just gonna be building up the, gonna be building up the color of the green part and now we're gonna be putting some taking some white paint and you know the thing like you know guys the border which is in the watermelon many times like not many times it's always there between the green and the um this thing the green and the red part so i made the that thing and now i just started to color the back of it as if, as if it's a watermelon so um now we're gonna be painting the entire part of it green the back part uh i didn't do much coats of it and yes here we are guys i added the seeds to it they are a little woggly but it's okay i just thought of uh, building up the white paint uh, white line between but i used a paint marker but it ended up cracking that's what the problem what is the pr uh, problem paint markers when you use it on a paint so i thought that okay we can fix this so i grabbed some mod pods and i put mod pods over it and then with the paint marker i went over it but that yes that did work okay that did work and here and yep yeah, Again, putting a layer of mod podge over it on the front and on the back. And here we are, guys. Five coats of mod podge later again. And that this is like my second favorite of it of um, of them all. My uh, the lemon one is my most favorite. This was the second favorite. But yes, it did turn out nice. It, it's not that much bad as if uh, like as i hate it um but you know this is nice let's move on to the next cd now so starting with the next cd i just like lemon uh cd really much so i thought that, thought that let's use let's just do the same thing except with the purple color yeah so i did not sand the cd now because it was not getting sanded where really but you know i thought that let's just paint over it without sanding it first coat and second coat we are done with the second coat and building up the um, color now and now time to make the inside structure of the fruit uh, i started to i started guys like super neat with the structure inside but then i ended up with super untidy <laughs> i don't know what is the uh, okay so i thought that okay we'll do the finishing touch-ups later first we'll just messily do like color up the inside part with uh purple light sorry light purple and we'll be okay but uh that did work and now and now is the time to make the inside finishing touches now um this is the boring part of the process because the lines were not that straight and circular but I thought I'd like okay, let's just go on with what we are doing here. And we're just gonna be fasting the process now. Like really much. So now three, two, one, go. Yeah, we are done with the inside structures. I even mm, gave it a paint like paint pen border. It did my paint paint did work over here. So that's a nice thing. Giving uh give it a giving it a coat of mod podge, and here we are, guys. Five coats of mod podge later again. <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing five coats of mod podge. Okay. Uh I just just I just love how this turned out, guys. This is the best. Like this is the now this is like uh I did not paint the behind part because that was kind of boring because it already has a purple shiny surface, so no need. I don't, I think so. Um let's move on to the next one now. So as a, as it is, I was not going to be doing the CD, but I thought, okay, we'll do a bonus CD as five CDs. I just do really less stuff on my videos in my videos, and here we, uh, and I thought, oh, I thought that okay, let's just do a tie dye effect, and I just ended up mixing all the colors. Like this is not a tie dye effect, okay? As summer is on the corner, that is why. Uh, so I thought that okay, we'll stay with uh like 
three colors instead of going just entirely colorful i choose the three colors as uh, gray pink and cyan i didn't want to choose pink but that's okay i'm gonna be going in with the gray line and then going in with the pink line it's a tie dye okay you must you must be no familiar with tie dye and um yeah hey so i'm gonna be building up the color you know over here it looks really opaque but when it dries all the things which you have like the back like the background of the cd which was below that is just like visible um when you when the this paint dries i did not get like that so so we're gonna now it's kind of looking like a tie dye now at least now okay uh, it's kind of looking like a tie dye as it has like three uh, stand like three colors, not just rainbow effect. That was just uh, mm, mm, somebody was doing this effect. That was me, which which was not like not that not that attractive. And I'm just still gonna be building up all the colors, which I think that is opaque, like that is transparent. And here it is, guys. All of them on together, all together on the wall. I don't think like any one of these is my like least favorite. All of these are like my favorite ones, and I just like like all of these. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. And um, bye. We'll meet next week. Bye.